Hi, everybody. So, um, here on the left, right, yeah, your left, is what I think most of us kind of have an association of when we think of cloning. Um, whereas this picture here on the right is the actuality of cloning, really. This is a North northern leopard frog. In 1963, J.B.S. Hal Haldane, this amazing man, coined the term clone um, in, a, in a lecture. And up until that point, even though cloning was quite prevalent, nobody had actually come up with a word for it before. So he was the first person to do so. In 1998, the FDA in America, the Federal Drug Administration, um, exerted authority over all human genetic material. This was in an attempt to, to regulate it, kind of like a drug, which means the companies have to apply for licenses to use genetic material. Um, genetic Savings and Clone was a bank that was set up in 2000. 2005, bank your pet's DNA and then clone them after they're dead. Lovely. Uh, this is the Cyclone Dairy, which is um, a dairy uh, which sources milk from, from cloned cattle. This is a machine that you can buy online for $10,000. Um, it, it also comes with a foot pedal for hands-free cloning. Um, it's, it's sold by the Raelian uh, movement, which is this extraordinary cult um, from aliens. Michael Jackson uh, was a big fan of the Raelians and they have a a huge press release on their website saying Michael Jackson didn't, well, we're not going to say whether or not he wanted to be cloned, but he did. Another famous clone, obviously, Dolly the Sheep. Um, my, uh, this is, uh, in 2006, the uh, Federal Drug Administration approved the human consumption of cloned meat. Um, so this, obviously, uh, it will lead to the regulation of um, clone farms. So in 2015, the first clone farm will be set up in South Korea um, in the Biotech Institute Seoul. This will really, really help with all the food problems that, that we, are going to, we are going to experience. Um, in 2020, however, we're going to get a bit nervous about uh, using up all our original genetic material. So we're going we're to pass a law which says that you can't eat original genetic material. So no more keeping your own chickens in the back garden. Um, in two, 2028, we are going to realize all the specimens in the San Diego frozen zoo. This, this will be amazing. Our, our zoos will become full of extinct animals and we'll be able to breathe life into them again. We'll be able to see dodos and everything. In 2032, I can't wait for this, we're going to have our first Super Olympics with genetically altered competitors. Um, it's it's going to be a, a, just an absolute marvel. It'll be wonderful to see um, extra limbs, extra heads, whatever you want, they can do it. Um, in 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 2035, we will then have to pass a law because we'll realize that, that with all of this experimentation, people are, are you know, kind of left quite vulnerable and somebody has to look after them. And who will that be? Well, it's going to have to be the corporation that fucked them up. In uh, 20, the number at the bottom there, we are going to clone the unicorn of, of animal, the woolly mammoth. We're going to bring it back. We're going to be able to ride on it. We're going to be able to make stuff from its fur. It's going to be epic. Then we are going to set up and regulate clone farms in all of these countries. And thus, we will start feeding the planet. This will mean that everybody will be able to eat and everybody will be able to have a Sunday roast dinner. In 2089, Dieter Hauser will be born. He will be the first human clone. He, however, will not survive his childhood and he will be euthanized before the age of 10 due to severe, severe genetic um, mutation. It's, it's, it's sad, but you know. Bruno Navarro will be born in 2111. Um, he will survive his childhood and he will go into adulthood and he will become an activist. He will become the first activist for clone rights and the rights of clones. He will free himself from the corporation that clones him and he will die in 2156 at the age of 45 because the telomeres at the ends of the DNA strands degenerate. Um, they're quite short, and so basically the body breaks down too quickly. We will then get very, very worried at the beginning of the 23rd century about what the future holds and what we have done to ourselves and our DNA, which is really what we're made of. 
And so we will start closing the farms. We will start reverting back to growing our own foods. And we will use up all those frozen embryos. These are all just kind of ideas that I'm throwing about um, to do with this performance that I'm, that I'm thinking about. In 1963, when JBS Haldane um, coined that term cloning, it was in a speech that was about the, the biological possibilities of the next 10,000 years of, uh, of human development. And I suppose I just wonder what we're going to look like in 10,000 years and who will we be. Thank you very much. <laughs>